Awesome, group, so here we go. So your session today, I'm gonna go through um, a, a couple of things with you. Myself, Coach Roberts, okay, Coach Ramaya, yes, she's actually on, she's smiling this morning, which is awesome. Uh, guys, it's a pleasure to have you. We, our plan for this is, one is to kind of connect with you and also give you some leadership skills, but we're gonna have some fun. So for instance, let me call on my friends. We're gonna do some cool icebreakers, right? So let me call on, you know, I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with Coach Ramaya. How's that? Yeah, you guys think I should start? So Coach Ramaya, yes, don't give us that look. Here's what you got to do for us. You're going to let your whole team know what is an animal that, first of all, we need your name, yeah, your position, and we need to know an animal that best describes you and why. Then after that, we're going to give you an item. You got 20 seconds to bring that item. Okay, Coach? It's all on you. Okay, um, my name is Ramaya. I play defensive mid and an animal. Um, I would say, I kind of want to say a cheetah because I am quite fast. But you are fast? Okay, all right. Now listen, okay, listen. I'm going to start with you first. You're going to have to now going to give you the easy one. You have 20 seconds to brand this pan. Now listen, if we don't buy this pan, you're getting a thumbs down. If, you, if everybody wants to buy it, thumbs up. So you want to show your group that you know how to brand, right? And I'm going to explain what this all means later. Are you ready? You, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. And listen, you get no more time than 20 seconds. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. And go. Um, so here we have a beautiful black pen. It's not a normal pen. It has super flying powers. So when you use it, you get to fly all over the world like an airplane. Um, not only does it fly, but it gives you the power to talk to animals. Three, two, um, okay. one, and stop. Okay. If you are going to buy this pen... Thumbs up. Okay? If you're not gonna buy this pen, thumbs down. Anybody thumbs down? Okay, all right. Now, here's the question, okay? Um, Lucy, why would you buy the pen? Uh, I would buy the pen because you get to talk to animals so you can understand them. Okay. All right, and also what else? Anybody heard it fly? Yeah. Yes. And also, you could like travel on an airplane. You don't have to spend time going to like customs or anything. Uh, like. <laughs> so what she done is that she found a way to get you to buy the pen. When we play football, right? It's even when you're developing, it's finding a way, right? It's called, it's finding your character. What brings you? What is it going to look like? So every time you step on the field as you're learning, you want to do something that's going to keep. So we call it finding your niche. If you do turns well, focus on turning well. If you're a good passer, you find your niche and stay in that lane. Okay, we're going to do one more. Sophie. Sophie. Hi, Soph, what's up? She's trying to find you. Hi. What's up, Soph? Hi. How you doing? <laughs> All right, listen. So, so you're going to let us know name, position you play, okay? And if it's any other position, an animal that best describes you. Now, listen. If you get stuck on the animal, don't worry about it, okay? All right, Sophie, you are on stage. And go. Okay, so I'm Sophia. I play defense. And I think an animal that describes me... I'm not sure. That's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Now, Sophie, here's what we're going to do, okay? You're going to describe, you got 20 seconds. You have to brand, guess what? A piece of paper, okay? <laughs> Sophie, a piece of paper. Sophie, you got this, right? You got this? Okay. <laughs> All right. Hold up for a sec. <laughs> hold up for a second. And I'm going to put you, hold up, we got... One person coming in. I'm going to put you on the clock. I love Soph. Okay, and go. 
This paper is very special because it has the finest corners that you will ever find. And it is very square. It has a ton of space to write on. You could draw, you could do anything with it. And it's blank, so any colors can go on it. Three. And it's 20% off. <laughs> okay, good. Now, anybody buying this paper? Thumbs up. Who's not buying the paper? Now, <laughs> Sophie, you're not going to buy the paper. You are selling it. <laughs> Sophie, that's not how it works. Listen, that's awesome. Sophie, what got me was at the end. When you told me it was 20% off, I'm like, yep, I like a deal. Okay, so we're going to get started, right? Uh, I think I got everybody in. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay, let me share my screen with you. Give me a second here. Okay, uh, let me know once we get started if everybody can see my screen. Can you guys see what's on my computer? Okay. Yes. Okay, good, good. You're gonna have to, because I cannot see you right now because I'm sharing my screen here. So you're gonna have to just let me know, okay? Um, yeah, it's fine, Basil. Okay, good. All right, so here's our first session today, right? Now, I cannot see you guys, okay, because I've got you guys minimized. So, Coach Roberts, you can help me out if anybody's got a question or putting a hand up, okay? I'm going to go through this. So, this is basically our workshop. Here's how your workshop's going to run, okay? Uh, five minutes, 15 minutes of coach, five minutes icebreaker, 15 minutes of coaching, understand the game, 10 minutes, we're going to do a power, power words. That's our leadership part, right? I'm going to explain that to you. Then... Uh, today, for the next like three weeks, I want you guys to research a player. I'm going to show you a YouTube video, okay, where you're going to actually get to see some really good players in, this, in, in the women's game. After that, I'm going to show you guys, and you guys can work with your parents to try to get on your team snap for your homework and ball mastery. Then we'll finish off with a three, two, one, okay? So let's get right into it. Let's go through, let's talk about your BF, BFLA coaches, right? We have principles, and, you want, and some of our principles as, as a coach, all your coaches will make mistakes, and you have to understand that, right? Because they are human. But the decision and any mistakes that they made, any decisions, you know, is for the success of the group overall and to keep the integrity of the team. It means is that, listen, they may make a mistake and put somebody in a wrong position, but at the time, because you probably don't play that position, they may just put you in because they feel that you're stronger and they want you to cover some area, okay? Even if it doesn't work out, they have to live with that decision and they will correct themselves. Now, the one thing is that my coaches will give you is nothing less than 100%, okay? All the coaches are going to work hard for you and I expect in the same way. So now what's happening is that you can now, if you see them giving 100%, we're looking for you to do the same thing. The other thing with the coaches is that your sac their sacrifice, okay, is going to have to be greater, okay, than their want. So they're looking to really kind of make sure they're making sacrifices for you guys to develop. May mean talking to you more, discussing things more with you, okay? Uh, and also, the other thing is that one of the biggest principles is that there's no excuses, okay, and shows no pain, success. What does that mean? That means is that if you feel tired sometimes, then you're going to grind through. We call it grinding through, working harder, right? Getting yourself going, grinding through, like really making an effort. And it doesn't just mean football, okay, you guys? This also means, you know, really working hard when it comes to, um, uh, it could be your schoolwork, staying up later to study, stuff like that, right? So that's very important is sacrifice has no excuses. I mean, sorry, success has no excuses, right? You want to be successful, you cannot have excuses with being successful, and you have no pain. The yeah? means you're tired, you gotta grind through it. Now, the other thing is that as you get older, a lot of players tend to now, as they get better, they start getting focused on just themselves. We gotta make sure, and the coaches wanna make sure that we take from me to we, that we're in this, and this is our family. We work hard for everybody in it. Now, what we're gonna do today is actually, we're gonna build some principles. Okay, so you guys are only going to build three. So what I want to do is actually, 
and, and Coach Roberts, you can help me out with this. So, Coach, you can call somebody if I got – I want you to put, like, a hand up. And, and if you have a principle, what is a principle? So you're going to build the players' principles for the BFLA, and this is going to be for all the players. I'm talking about the U17s. So my UNI group, we're going to think of three of them. So anybody got, a th like, a principle? A principle will be, okay, work hard in training, right? A principle will be uh, communicating and, and being friends to uh, our teammates. A principle will be, um, you know, like, like, like no, you know, following the guidelines, okay? So any principles, anybody got any principles that you think, because we're going to write them down and then I'll put them in later, okay? Anybody think of any principles that you think that would be awesome for us to actually have? Uh, Isla? 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 Okay, what's Isla. one? Yeah? Um, never settle for less than your best. I love it. Love it. Love it. Always been your best. Never settle, okay, for nothing. Then you're awesome. I love it. That's a great principle, right? I may have to use that. That's awesome. Hmm. <laughs> Listen, that is, I, I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know, I may have to use this for my pro players, right? Now we'll sell for nothing than your best. Anybody else? We're looking for three. Avery? Respect your, 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 each other and your coaches. Awesome. Respect each other and coaches. Now listen to me, young people. It's very important, and I tell my professional players this. Don't say what we want to hear. It's very awesome. It's very good that if we're going to write this, this is going to be like our little contract, right? So we have to abide by our own principles because the U13s are going to build three, U17s are going to build four. So when they see in their session next, I'm going to have this already listed in those principles. So the first three will be gone, but awesome. Respect each other and your coaches. Anything else? One more? Uh, Ramaya, who's that fire tablet? Who's got a... Who's... Who's... Ramaya, you see him? It's Maury. Maury? I didn't have enough time to sign in. Okay. So that's why. No, that's okay. fine. Okay, you got oh, one. one. Um, a principal that gives the coaches trainings, their own trainings, okay. coach trainings. So one of your principles is making sure that you would like to kind of have as a part of you guys training. So we're gonna put that into some of the, uh, some of the, some of the coaches training. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna warrant this as the coaches continue to train for our success, right? How's that? That means you guys' success to continue, awesome. Okay, so we got our three principles, brilliant. So let's go to, let's go to something cool, right? Understanding the game. So here's what I want you to do. You're gonna watch this video. It's only of me, okay? But this part is talking about the thirds of the field. So, do you have a piece of paper? Awesome. Do you have a pen or pencil? Brilliant. Okay. Because here's going to be the start of the class. And let me start this. And... I can't see it. Hello, my players. I hope all of you know. Who can't see it? Just me. Roberts, can you see it on yours? Yeah, I can see it on mine. Okay. Who can't see it on theirs? Who's having problems viewing it? Okay. All right. So, so all right. Is it any, um, is it coming up as what? A, bl a black screen? No, I just see you. You just see me? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, you're going to have to minimize. Can you see any, did you see anything earlier that when I went to my PowerPoint, my screen? Yes, but then I think I might have pressed something and then it didn't now like. Okay, so look at, you, you, may have, you may have extended your screen. That's fine. 
All right, so let's try to get your screen back is what we're going to have to do. Try to minimize. If you're just seeing me, this means that you're going to have to minimize me. Uh, look on your, your tab up top and see if you can minimize or you'll, see, or you'll see beside my name. See if you can pull that. See that uh, it's like a dash, like a minus sign. Press on that minus sign. Click on that okay. Minus. I'm going to... I can minus... I can minus me, but I can't minus you. Okay, so you're still seeing, so everybody else has seen it. Okay, all right, mm -hmm. okay. Not, but can you hear, you can't hear nothing either, right? You can only hear me and see me. I can, I, I can hear you and I can see you, but I can't see the video. Okay, so that means is that, yeah, or that, yeah, that means is that, it's, is your parents home? Is anybody home? Yeah. Okay, see if they can help you to, uh, to get your screen back, okay? Because mm -hmm. that's going to be, uh, yeah, I want to make sure everybody can see it, all right? Um, you can go out and then come back in, and then that uh, works. You are so, this is why you are so smart, all right? Well, being we're waiting, <laughs> being we're waiting, we must well pick on somebody else. What about, what do you think of that, Coach Roberts? We must well find somebody else. Coach, you want to pick somebody? Um... Stella. 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 All right. Position. Let us know your position. And let us know an animal that best describes you. And we're going to give you an item to brand for 20 seconds. Okay. Um, my name is Stella. Um, I play defense and goalie. And I'm not sure about my animal that describes me. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Stella, I want you... Let me see. Let me see what I got around here. Oh, I know. Look, I want you to mark it for 20 seconds. This tape. It's tape. It's the same tape I use to package my boxes. Yeah? So tape. Yeah? Stella, you, you ready for this? Yeah. Okay. You are on the clock. And hold up, hold up, hold up, Stella. Hold up. Okay, and go. If something breaks, you use this magical tape and it will fix it immediately. Um, it can also make you fly if you use it. It can travel you somewhere magical. Oh. Um, it can also, it's 20% off. Uh, um, seven seconds. Uh, I don't know anything else. Um, you can get free stuff Three, with it. Two, uh, one. And awesome, anybody buying the tape? Oh yeah, got the tape. And I like that you threw in that, I love you throwing that 20%, 20 right? You should have seen how, uh, who, who done the 20% before? Is that, yep, should, gave me that look. Are you serious, you're gonna use my 20%? Yep. Okay, so what's the Excuse me, coach. Yes. My dad said there's um, nothing I can really do about it now. Okay, well why don't you, okay, well why don't you sign off? Okay, okay, and come right back in the group, okay? See you. Let's see if she can get back in the group. And if she doesn't, it's okay. We'll just get started, and then what I'll do, I'll send her the video. Um, excuse me, yes. Mr. Bascom, but there's some people that can't get in, and my mom is just telling me this to tell you. Okay, good. Okay, hold up. Let me let them in. Stop in outside. Let me let them in. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, so let's see if uh, let's see if Stella, can, I mean not Stella, uh, Isla can get back in. Okay, so let's see if she's getting this. All right, so let's start our video, right? So get your pants, get your stuff. You're just gonna follow along, okay? So this is our, our thirds, okay, of the field. That's our focus, right? Our thirds of the field. Okay, any questions? All right, just same for later. We're gonna have that conversation afterwards, okay? Well, now listen, this is gonna be one of many classroom sessions we're gonna be doing with you, okay? The session today, I want you, first of all, I want you to get a piece of paper, get a pen, get a marker, okay? Get a nice piece of paper, because it's very important, and you can put this in your binder, okay? This is your first session today, first classroom session. So, when you get your piece of paper, I'll give you some time, I want you to write thirds of the field, okay? So write on it, thirds of the field. So. 
All you got to run up top, thirds of the field. That's our topic today. Very simple, not going to be long, okay? So I'll give you some time. Get your paper. Now, once you get it, I want you to draw a field. That's right. Draw a field. So let me draw my field here. Across. I'm going to come down. Another good draw. Okay. I'm going to come across. Awesome. I'm going to put my little gold in here and my little gold. All right. Simple as that. Okay. Draw your field. Now, I don't think you can see the bottom of my field, but it is there. Okay. So, what we're going to do is now when you draw your field, okay, I want you to put lines in. Okay. Now, let's put our field lines in. So, we're going to take our same in the middle. This is the center of the field. Okay. The center. All right. Now, this is where we've got two halves. We're going to design this field if our team is going this direction, okay? This means is that we are defending this side and attacking this side, okay? What does the thirds mean? What are the thirds of the field? Before we get into anything more of this tactical, I want you to understand the thirds of the field. And all the what I'm gonna do is ending there today is breaking down so we can concentrate on balance, all right? So we add that, because that's gonna be our next session talking about balance. All right, so the thirds of the field. So let's break the field down into thirds, okay? So if I'm looking at, if this is now my first third, so let's divide this field up into thirds. Okay, I'm a little off, all right? So we've got one third, another third, and then our bottom third. It's important that you understand this. This is the first basis of breaking up a field so you can understand what the thirds are, okay? Because you're gonna hear this in the coaching sessions. Okay, what do you think? If I'm defending this side, okay, this is the side I'm defending, what do you think this third is called? I want you to think about it, okay? Take some time to think about it. Give about five seconds, right? Just think about it. What is this side called? This area, this third here, what is that the third? You guys, what is that third? Anybody want to take a guess of what that third would be? Yes? Um, Robert, you, you, could, you can grab somebody, Robert. Sophia. Sophia. Sophia? The, defen the defensive zone. Awesome. That's awesome. And I like the idea that you're using those zones, okay? All right. Uh, help my help me. I'm sorry. Hold up. It's me trying to do two things at once. Mm -hmm. So the defensive third, right? So that's that's important that we understand what those thirds are. Defensive third of the of the field. Okay, let's get this going. Once you write, third, all you gotta write. So I give you, some, but it is there. Design this. Also, what? Okay, okay. What do you think, if I'm defending this side, okay, this is the side I'm defending, what do you think this third is called? I want you to think about it, okay? Take some time to think about it. Give about five seconds, right? Just think about it. What is this side called? This area, this third here, what is that the third? Okay, so look at that third, what is that third? Awesome. If you set defensive third, okay, this third, all right, is my defensive third. This is my defensive area, okay? This is the area where we defend, okay? This is our defensive area. Let's go to our second third. The second third is going to be between the red and the red, all right? What do you think this third is? What is this third? Anybody? What's that third? Anybody want to take a guess on what that third is? Uh, Maury, is it? Um, I think it's the midfielder third. The midfield third? Okay. All right, good. All right. We've got awesome. our defensive third. So what would this third of the field be? Excellent. 
Excellent. That's right. If you said this is the middle third, the midfield third, then you are correct, right? So this third is the midfield third. Yeah, it's in the middle of the field, okay? It's in the middle of the field, so it's a mid third. What about this? If you got your defensive third, your midfield third, what can this third possibly be? Excellent. It's either going to be your attacking third, okay? Mm -hmm. Attacking this area, okay? Or it can be your offensive third. Okay. Did anybody know that? Did anybody know that it was attacking third? Okay. All right. Good. Good. Because that's important, right? Because when the coaches, no matter what systems the coaches play, you have to know your thirds, right? Now, I'll help myself. Then we got to know what to do in each third. Okay. And that's very important. Remind me, I'm hitting all buttons over here, but I'll figure it all out. Yeah. Because that's so crucial is that when we're going through these thirds is that you really understand on what's happening in these thirds. Okay. You attack in this area. Okay. Or it can be your offensive third. Okay, very important. You understand the thirds of the field. Now, here's the other thing. What happens, my players, in these thirds? Okay, in each third, there's a different mindset shift in each third. If I'm playing in the defensive third, I have to be still play sharp. Okay. So I'm still playing sharp in this area. I have to play sharp. Go write this down, sharpness. Okay. But now I have to make sure is that I am, I am patient and I do not make mistakes. Okay. So the least mistakes I'm making in here. All right. Less mistakes. All right. Very important. Making less mistakes. I have to be patient, okay? And I have to play under control. I cannot panic, okay? I cannot panic. So I have to play under control. This area is the most crucial area because the least mistakes you're gonna make in this area. So this means is that you don't dribble in this area, you don't get stuck with the ball. When in doubt, you clear the ball out, okay? All right, but this is when we're teaching the curriculum, you're gonna learn how to play in that third. What about this next third? What about this midfield third? What about the pace of the game? Okay, the pace of the game is gonna also be, it's gonna be sharp, right? That's right, pace of the game is also gonna be sharp. We have to be sharp in this area. We don't wanna move the ball too slow, we don't wanna be slow, because this is the area, it's called the transition area. Okay, this is where we start to transition. Okay, that's a transition area. This area transitions you now. If I've got players that's playing into this midfield area, you're transitioning now into the attack and you're transitioning the ball from defense. So your pace of the game still has to be sharp. Okay, but guess what happens? You're going to find yourself being a little bit more creative in this area. Okay, so you're starting to transition from being patient, less mistakes, okay, control to start. You still want to be under control, okay, but what happened now is you're going to start to be a little bit more creative, okay? So write this down. My defensive area, I want to be sharp, less mistakes, patient, under control, okay? My midfield third. My midfield area, I still have to be sharp. This one just starts to transition, okay? And in the transition, you still got to be in control, but you're going to find you may make, maybe make a little bit more mistakes, okay? Because this is an area that's heavy, all right? There's a lot of people in this area. And also, you're going to start to be more creative. What does creative mean? And I'm actually to be creative in this area. What does that mean? What does creative mean? What does being creative in that area means? Anybody? Uh, Isla. Isla, what does creative mean in that area? Maybe do something you haven't done before or like if an opponent's coming at you, like maybe kick it through your legs and run around and try and like get creative with what you have. 
and it's use a, what you've got. It's an awesome, right? Creative. So all these kind of awesome things is kind of like, think of it as not looking at a picture and you're drawing something and stuff that's coming, it's all just coming to your head, right? And you're actually being creative. You got a blank sheet and you're just creating this awesomeness, right? So that midfield area, you're allowed to create, you're allowed to like use all your skills, all your abilities and make things happen, okay? Isla, that is awesome, awesome. Good, yeah, that's good, right? Creative means is that now I'm gonna be taking all my skills, all that complex skills, the turns, the passing, right? And trying to find balls which allows me to execute, okay? So I'm being creative. I gotta think out of the box, not being afraid to make mistakes in here, okay? Because one of your job is gonna be is to help find the forwards and how to transition into this attacking area, okay? All right, if you make mistakes, it's okay because you've got numbers, you're just gonna limit your mistakes because when you're being creative, this means you're gonna be taking some chances, okay? Now, let's look into this area. This is an area here that is very important. You cannot, all my players, once you get into this area, you're gonna, yes, you gotta be that much sharper. You know why? Because now the other team's trying to stop you from scoring, right? So you still, you know you gotta be sharp. Do you have to be creative? Oh yes, you wanna score goals, you gotta be creative, right? Because it's part of your execution. You wanna create? Be creative. What else? You still have to play under control, right? If you can go forward, you go back, you stay under control because we want to stay in the first moment of the game. And what's next? So we have sharp, creative, control. What about, are we going to make mistakes? Yes, we're going to make plenty of mistakes in this area. So you're going to have to understand this is the area where you can make plenty of mistakes. I want you to understand that you're going to make a lot of mistakes in this area. So I want you to be very, very patient in here. Don't get down on yourself. I'm not talking about patient in your game. I'm talking about patient with yourself. You're going to make mistakes. If you miss a pass, if you miss a goal, it's okay. If you try to dribble a player one-on-one, that's okay. We encourage it, all right? But you're going to make some mistakes. You're just going to have to get your mindset right because that is very, very important, okay? If you make a mistake, you get back, you go again, you go again, we're gonna encourage that. So this area is the area in the offensive area where you're gonna find yourself be creative even more, but you're gonna make a lot more mistakes, okay? So, not gonna stress you out with anything else, but I want you to understand that this is called the thirds of the field, okay? Write this down, draw it up, make sure, rewind the video, Go back, put in slow motion, right? So you can see, so you got the thirds of the field. We got a um, defensive third, a midfield third, a attacking third. A defensive third with sharp, make less mistakes, be patient, under control. Midfield third, sharp, transition, transition in area, control the ball, be creative. Attacking third, sharp, be creative. We're gonna take chances as well. Take chances, control, and also, understand you're gonna make mistakes, okay? That's it, that is it. My young people, my young players, okay? Wish you all the best. Our next session, what we're gonna do is balance the field, okay? We're gonna talk about balancing the field, all right? And after that, then we're gonna do a next class to teach you on positioning and the moments of the game. So right now is what we're gonna do our next session, we're gonna focus on balance, all right? Thank you, look forward to working with you the next time. All right, you guys, so awesome, right? So that's gonna be like, that's the tough part, okay? Understanding, and it's very important that you understand actually these thirds, right? It's so crucial because as you get older and start, you start getting better, your skills are getting better, you know that in the defensive area, you wanna limit your mistakes, right? You don't wanna, okay, take a play on one-on-one -on -one unless you got open space, all right? So we're gonna move on. Now that was your kind of, your, your heavy part. Now, what we're going to do is focus on right now is actually building something. We're going to build a culture. Aha. So what we have done is that our culture is what we see here and feel, okay? See here and feel. 
So what we want you guys to do is that you're going to build something and this is a part of our leadership development, right? We're building a culture. So what do we want our environment to look like around the players? How do we want to play? How we want to act? What we want to say? So what we have come up with, okay, I've been doing this for many schools, young people. So we're going to build our own awesome culture. So we're going to build some sort of leadership, build some characters, build some trust, accountability, and support and growth each, each, you know, uh, each player. So what I've done is... We are trying to build this environment, right? We want everybody to kind of work in together, kind of, you know, just playing together, get to really look out for each other, right? Some of our players will be more advanced than others. They got to learn to share, okay? And in this sharing, we're going to do some cool things. So each month I've come up with a word, okay? And we're going to actually now work on this word each month. So you're going to have to do some leadership uh, skills things, if it's at home, if it's, you know, when you get back to school, if it's in your community. So we're going to work on building a culture. So our first thing is our leadership. So if you look at these months, September, October, November, December, we're not going to focus, we're going to focus on January. Okay. Our power word. Okay. This is from our leadership, the power of one. Our power word for January is sacrifice. Okay. Monthly theme. It's a new year, new beginning. Okay, so BFL event, what we're going to do is that I want you guys to set some sort of goals in January, right? So we're going to do this now. What would your goal look like in January? For instance, would this be, would your goal be, okay, I want to do X, Y, Z. Your goal could be that, okay, I want to do chores, all right? I want to do chores at home. You may want to help your parents cook your first meal. I want you to set goals, but our word for January is going to be sacrifice. Now, Guess what? You have to do something creative. You take this word, you have to build some sort of like be creative with the word, and you're going to make a poster, a small little poster, and it goes in your room. Okay? Every month you're going to have a different word. When we have our workshops, even when the coaches are talking to you, they're going to keep talking to you about this word. Okay? Now, how are we going to work? We're going to do something. And we're going to have somebody come in and right now, because you're not got parent, you're not doing a PTA, you're not doing stuff for like that. We're going to be sharing. It means is that in January, when we get to January, we're going to have some guests that's going to come in and, and talk to us on some of the things, sacrifices they had to make. Okay. So that's what I want you to really think about that your word for January is sacrifice. So what I want you to do right now is think of some of these sacrifices you think you can do and start in January. Think of a couple, right? Think of a couple of sacrifices that you want to make. Now, for instance, when I was playing football, when I was playing pro, I had to sacrifice not drinking soda, okay? Because soda was, had so much sugar in it, and it was, I was crashing, right, when I was playing. I used to drink four cans of sodas before game, a big package of bubble gum. It was crazy. And what happened was that Half time of my games, my energy was just dropped, right? So I had to make these sacrifices to changing my nutrition. So I want you to think about some sacrifices. So if you're looking at these words and the theme of the month, so for instance, uh, this month is unity, okay? But we don't have much time in this month. But if you want to kind of think of like how some things you could do the word unity, you know, during the holiday ce you know, celebrations, um, you know, think of that as well. But I want us really focusing on January as this new start on sacrifice, okay? So, and then our February month is believe. That's when you guys are going to have to write your I have a dream kind of speech. You don't have to be I have a dream, but you're going to write something cool. It's going to be something that, okay, something that you feel that can empower each of us, all right? And the other thing I'm working on is trying to get the premier or somebody in our group so they can connect with us and talk to us. So... Let's think of something, okay, for January. What's some ideas for your power word sacrifice? Anybody come some ideas they think, like, or sacrifices they like to make for January? Anybody? What about, uh, yes, 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 yes. Who's that? Uh, dun, dun, dun. Yep, go ahead, yep. Yes, you, yes. Because I can't see your name. So, Robert, I can't see that name anymore. 
Um, sacrifice television for more exercise. Aha, I love it. I love it. I'm going to tell my, 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 my seven-year-old that's what he needs to do. He just went seven. Yeah? I'm going to sort him out. So sacrifice TV, right? For more exercise. Love it. Awesome. Anybody else? Yes? Uh, Robert, you got us that? Um, Lucy? That's okay, Lucy. If you forgot, that's no problem, okay? Yeah, I just forgot it. That's no problem. No problem, Lucy. All right. What about um, um, Sophie? Sophie. Soph. Soph. Sophie, yes, yeah, Sophie. Is that Sophie? I'm going to sacrifice not eating unhealthy dinners. Love it. I love it. Love it. So, so eat unhealthy dinners, right? And that's going to give you more energy. Awesome. All right, so I want you guys to think of that. So our next session, okay, our next session is that I really want you, we're really going to like really look at this word. So I want in the next session, which uh, probably because we, we may go again on Tuesday, probably the one after that, I want to see your word. I want to see a word. I want to see it like show me a word. I want you to create your word sacrifice and put little things around it, right? Because this is some, January that's your main focus. So we got to January. One, so we're going to get this word up awesome. Put your, put your stars on it. Put your glitter on it. You just make it look awesome because you're, gonna, you're actually going to show that. So we want to see that, that word sacrifice January 1. I'll just wait to January week, and then you can work on that, okay? Awesome. Now, because I know our time is getting past us, right? What I want to do now is that one of your things you're going to do and is actually I want you to also – when you're watching, I want you to get on your YouTube with your parents, uh, and I want you to start researching players. I really want you to start in embedding, okay, some good women players. If it's local players, I want you to start selecting players so you can research. What we have done is put together a video of some players, okay, and I'm only going to share for about two minutes, but these are some players around the world that are top players that play, okay, that play football. I want you to now think of some players, okay, Google it, research, and I want you for our, in one of our sessions, I'm going to ask you about your players that you researched, and you're going to now, you know, really know a little bit about that players. I want you to start to connecting yourself, right, with some of these uh, awesome, awesome players, and they could be local, okay? So let's watch some of this and see some of the awesome players around the world. So, players, so what I want you to do now is really, like, you got some awesome, awesome players out there, right? Because sometimes, you know, I had asked um, a young lady in Baltimore who's our best player. You know what she said to me? Guess what she said? She said she likes Messi. 
I said, okay, but Mass is not a female player. I want you picking a female player. I want you because that's how we're going to help the game to grow, right? Is, is thinking of all these players. So that's one of you guys' jobs that I want you to do, right? Is actually look out and connect yourself with actually some players, some female players. Now, I think we got about a minute. I'm going to show you now. You guys, have you guys been on your ball mastery on Team Snap? Anybody been on ball mastery Team Snap? No? Okay. Here's what I'm going to show you how to get on that, all right? Because on Team Snap, we have everything set up for you for some homework. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is show you, okay, how to get on that homework sheet. Okay, this is gonna help you guys for when you guys are actually um, to do some extra work, okay, getting you guys on your team snap. So let me get out of here right now. Uh, Robert, anything, Roberts, coach? Yeah, I'm good. No, not for me, Basil. Okay, all right, no problem. Now I'm going to pull up this Team Snap and I'm going to share my screen. Can you guys see my, you can't see my screen right now, all right? No. Okay, you see it now? Can you see my screen? Yes, no, yeah. Okay, brilliant. All right, so you guys, listen. So on, on your Team Snap, okay, I'm going to show you this. And then we've got the next group coming in. So on your Team Snap. All up here in these files, if you go, if your parents go in and tell them log in on their computer, okay, they're going to go to media. When they go to media, if they go in, they go to media on their computer, and this will come up. It would say photos, videos, and files, okay? So they go to media on TeamSnap, okay? They go to photos, media, files. So if you go to photos first, all right, let's go to our photos, okay? You're going to see anything, any photos that's going to be new with you guys, okay? So they, we can upload photos. So if we go to files, okay, when they go to files, they're going to go to the player's file. You guys have your own files, all right? This is all the information on here, okay? Now, on here, you're going to see player development homework sheet. Click on that. And when you click on this, it's going to come up as a PDF. This is what your homework sheet will look like, okay? And this homework sheet's got your ball mastery, ball mastery two, juggling, turns, one one one, shooting, receiving, and passing. Now, these are the things you're going to spend on. It gives you all, the, all this information on some, uh, some areas, right? But guess what? We can't give you the sheet if you actually don't have the videos to go with it, okay? So let's go back. And let's go back into this media. Let me open this back up. Go back into this media, okay? And guess what we're gonna go to now is videos. You're gonna see this, look. Homework video folder. You remember that ball mastery? Right here. And ball mastery two. So look what it, you press on the video, and all you're doing is now learning, okay? So for you guys' homework, I want you to concentrate on Ball Mastery 1 and Ball Mastery 2 videos. Okay, and if you go to ball, if you go to like turns, so as you get better, you're gonna work on your homework sheet and then you can go to these different videos, okay? Changes of direction. Number one, the outside cut. Don't overrun the ball, but reach and save ground. Bend the knee slightly and cut with the ankle. And basic cuts like these. So, what I want you guys to do, and what we'll do is we'll share it with them as well, okay? Because there's a sheet that you guys will have, okay, where they can actually go ahead and pull this stuff up, okay? So, uh, it was awesome. Yep, because we got our next group coming in. Great, great job. Now, three, two, one. Give me three things you learned today. Yes, Sophie. I learned like the defensive um, 
the defensive middle, um, the defensive third, the uh, middle third, and the attack, an offense third. Awesome, awesome. Anybody else? Anything you learned today? Anything else? Anything that you feel that you go? Oh, sorry, Avery. Get Avery. Um, that you that on you have a sheet that you have to do all your stuff on. Yes, yeah, <laughs> get the homework right. Get on the team snap. Get the homework out. And we have a sheet that's out that we have reposted to your parents. Okay. Now, anything you feel you can share that you want to share with you know it's probably somebody that's not here. Anything you want to share from today? Because I'm going to share this video with you. So I'm going to kind of connect it, put the video together. So I'll see if you wasn't smiling. Anything that you want to share with somebody else? No? All right. I'll share. That's fine. All right, you guys. Awesome job. Uh, coach, anything, Coach? Thank you. All right. Great job, you guys. Um, I would Have a good day, guys. I'd love, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Okay? Be yourself the next schedule. Okay? Awesome. See you guys later. Bye. 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 Check you later. Bye. Um, coach, you.